before you begin casting, gather the material that you will need. The amount of material may vary for each patient due to the size and age of patient. The materials for a long arm mitten cast are two two inch white fiberglass rolls, two two inch color fiberglass rolls, two two inch cotton rolls, two inch stockinette, scissors, and cold water. To prepare for the long arm mitten cast, size the two inch stockinette from the fingertips to the proximal humerus and leave about three inches of extra stockinette on each end. Do not open the fiberglass until you are ready to apply it because it will harden when exposed to air. Lastly, make sure you have cold water. The positioning for the long arm mitten cast is with the forearm in neutral position with the elbow at 90 degrees and slight 10 to 20 degrees extension of the wrist. Remember to make sure the fingers are flat and not overlapping. After you are done, clean your area and discard the water. This will be the long arm mitten cast. So how you start is you got your stockinette, go over the fingers. And instead of leaving the fingers free, that will be inside the cast. So you got the excess cut stockinette, just fold it over. Remember to cut right here because you want the stockinette to be laying flat and not crinkled up or bunched up. Start off with the fan fold and you want at least four layers. You can either go back and forth like this or you can go this way. For uh, teaching purposes, I'm gonna teach both ways. So now that we have rolled this way, we're gonna roll this way. This is just for teaching purposes, like I said, to show you how it's done. And it's 50-50 on top when you do the fan fold and then going down 50-50. Making sure you have nice four layers at least of cotton. Then going down 50-50. Make sure your layers are nice and even. Remember, get down here to elbow. We're gonna fan and fold the elbow. You know, fan fold every bony prominence to a figure eight to capture it. And then going up the arm 50-50. Going around three or four times. And then work your way back. We're gonna do about three layers right here. Making sure there is sufficient on padding. All right. Now we're time for fiberglass. Same thing as you did with the cotton. So we're gonna start up the hand. You can do it this way. 50-50, make sure there's four layers at least. And smooth it down. Or you can do it this way. Whichever way you feel comfortable doing. You get that done start going down 50 50. remember you want that 50 50 overlay over on the elbow we have that ballerina spot and we're going to tilt at that point i mean just pivot so ballerina spot, 50-50. Ballerina spot, 50-50. Ballerina spot, 50-50. And then even up and continue the rest of the cast. This one I'm just gonna do five layers. Like I said, you need five or six layers. And basically I'm just coming back, not doing 50-50, but doing a single layer. You can do this if you don't need to mold it. 
I'm not going to use all of it. And then up here, you just want to rub it down, make sure it doesn't pop up, and mashing the fingers nice and flat. You don't want your fingers curled up in the cast, so make sure when you're rolling, whether it's cotton or the fiberglass, how I just make sure that his fingers are flat and not overlapping each other. Now for the color, I'm just going to go ahead and do the fan fold this method, just back and forth, and then going down. You don't need a lot of layers for this. This is the same thing, just two layers. Ends up being five total. Except right here, this is six. But the rest of the cast is five. All right, coming down. Fifty-fifty. Bowering a spot. Fifty-fifty. Bowering a spot. Fifty-fifty. Okay. You know, fold back the stock in that just to make sure. And then you'll fill it, uh, finish it with the rest of the color and make sure it's all nice. Don't come to the edge right here. You need to at least see about a quarter or a half inch uh, the cotton stockinette. And that is the long arm mitten cast. This is the conclusion of this video and thank you for your time.